hi lovelies you're welcome back to yet another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chini retichi for short and if you're returning subscriber i love you thanks for always coming back in today's tutorial we're going to be making this beautiful lovely crisscross dress with side ruffles this dress is so cheeky my gen z's are going to love this one in particular so if you're in gen z just gather here okay so we're going to be making this dress the cutting and the stitching process but the stitching is going to come in a later video that's a video that i'm going to be uploading after this one this is because i do not want this particular video to be too long so i splitted the cutting and the sewing process so if you're interested in this one why not sit right back with us enjoy learning why you subscribe if you haven't done that and also do not forget to give the video a like and just generally let me know your thoughts in the comment section so without further ado let's dive right into the tutorial here are the two different fabrics i'm going to be using for this style i'm going to be using this for the lower part and then this one for the upper part so i'm going to start with the upper part which i'm going to be using this particular one for so the first thing i'm going to be doing is just to open up and then place it on fold and in placing it on fold to get the width of your placement on fold you have to divide the bust measurement by four and add say about two to three inches extra after dividing your bust by four so i've gotten the width and then i iron it out always endeavor to take out the safe edge next thing is to mark out the half waist length measurement and in doing that you don't place your tape from the tip of the fabric like so you take it up by say five inches and then i come down to mark out the half waist length which is 16.5 plus one inch seam allowance making a total of 17.5 inches so i mark out the 17.5 inches all the way so i have this space to work with so i come back again i place my table at the five inches mark to mark out the armhole the breast point and all that so for the armhole i'm not going to be using the exact armhole as you can see from the picture the armhole is quite low so instead of using a normal armhole length of eight inches i'm going to be extending it to nine you can make it 9.5 depending on how open you want that area to be so i use nine inches and then i come down to the breast point i add half an inch to it and then i mark it out and also at the under bust i add half an inch to the under bust length so that's it for the vertical measurements and next from this center foot area you come out by one inch so you mark out one inch from that point this point has a connection to the armhole after that you come to marking out your body circumference measurement divided by four starting with the bust we divide by four and add your seam allowance of about one inch or 1.5 okay you have that marked out you come down to the under bust we divide the under bust round by four add your dart allowance and also your seam allowance of 1.5 inch or 1 inch and then at the half waist length you do the same thing divide the waist measurement by 4 add 1 inch that allowance and also 1.5 inch seam allowance so that's it for the body circumference measurements and then you have all the points connected like so and also from the center fold area to the armhole area like so so after that we go ahead to cut out what we have for the front next we proceed to cutting the back part using the front part but in doing that for the front one you have to fold it over at the armhole area like so can you see at the armhole length you fold it over and then iron it out so you use that length in cutting the back the only thing you just add your zipper allowance and then you cut out the back like so so we have the front and then we have the back so you open up the front and then have it ironed out back the way it was and note that the half length for the back is always lower than that or shorter than that of the front so in doing that we're going to be reducing the back length by one inch after the back must have been reduced by one inch so in making sure that the length for the front you know accommodate that of the back we are going to be using a breast that you know to shorten the length of the front like so so we are going to be adding a breast that like this so after doing this we have the length for the front and the back to be equal at the end of the day and then the back is lash open and then we'll place side by side and place the front on it as well and let's see what it looks like so this is what we have after being placed on each other so next we are going to be cutting out all the interfacing for the front and also the back and after the interfacing has been cut the next thing is to cut the crisscross part of the dress so in cutting that you place the front of the dress on a plain fabric like so to get the actual length we're going to be using for the crisscross for the front remember that we started our measurement from five inches to the half waist length so we have five inches for the front so for the back i get the back part of the dress and then i place my table on it 
remember that the half waist length for the back is 16 inches so i make sure that the lower part of the um, table is stops at 16 inches so whatever i have at the upper part is the length that i'm going to be adding to what i have to the front so for the back i have nine inches at the upper part of the back as you can see you can see i have it nine inches up here so i add it to the five inches that i have at the front making a total of 14 inches then i'm going to be adding about one inch or 1.5 inch extra so i place my tape roll like so i'm not going to be using the two curvy part i'm going to be using the straight part of the curve rule and then i mark out a not too straight line like so where i'm going to be marking out the 15 inches that i already calculated from the back and front so that's it for the straight line for the width of the crisscross i'm going to be using about 2.5 inches and to mark out the width you come down to this armhole area and then from the armhole point you mark the 2.5 inches by the side like so next is to trace out this part so that it can connect to this straight line we have up above here also connect at the side so next i'm going to be marking out the total length for the crisscross which is 15 inches in total and it's time for me to take out this particular one so that i can mark out the width of the crisscross which is 2.5 inches from this other end to the other end so after marking out the width of the crisscross i connect the points together have it cut out and that gives us just one for the crisscross we are going to be using this one to cut the second crisscross and to do that i just place this other one back on the fabric and then cut out the second one so here i have the second one cut out also remember that we're going to be cutting another one for the interfacing so i have to notch the part that i'm going to, that is going to be you know is going into the armhole area so i have that notched and this is going to be having a stay as well so after all is said and done for the cuttings and all that and then you place the crisscross on the front part of the fabric this is what you should have so that's it for the cutting of the upper part of the dress so let's dive into the lower part of the dress so for the lower part you just place on fold by dividing the hip into four and adding an extra two inches so that's for the width so after that it's time to get the length of the lower part so I place the tape rule at the 16 and half inches mark, that's the half waist length, up to the length that I want the total length of the dress to be, which is 38 inches. So this is the length I have and then I measure to see what it gives me and then I mark that all the way down and after which I connect all the points. So I place my tape rule back on the 16 and half inches, that's for the half length so that I can mark out the hip length of the dress and next i'll be marking out the lower body circumference measurements which is the waist and the hip so for the waist is divided by four plus one inch that allowance and then 1.5 inch seam allowance and also for the hip area i divide the hip by four plus 1.5 inch seam allowance and then coming over to the total length of the dress area whatever the total of your hip division gives you just subtract 1.5 inches from that and that's what you're going to be marking at this point that's the lower part of the dress and next is to connect all the points together you can use your free hand or use your cover whichever one is more convenient for you so you connect all the points together and then you have it cut out and next i'm going to be using this to cut out the back and in cutting out the back i just place this on the fabric back and then add just seam allowance to it and then you cut that out and do not forget to notch the zipper allowance at the back and also for the front you come down at this point by three quarter of an inch and then you curve outward to the waist area just to get rid of any excess bulge at the end of the day and you have that trimmed off and then you get the back and you slash it open into two so it's time to cut the ruffled part of the dress so in getting that done we measure the side of the lower part of the dress like so so we have a total of about 22 inches at the lower side but i'm not going to be using the total length of the 22 inches i'm going to be taking out about three inches so i'm going to be using the length of the ruffles to be 19 inches in cutting the ruffles you first of all fold the fabric into two like so and then you fold again making it four folds and then you fold again making it eight folds in total so as you can see we have this to be four and then the lower parts to be four as well so making it total of eight folds remember we have the length to be 19 inches so by the time we divide it into eight it's going to give us approximately 2.5 so at this upper part we just you know uh, roughly place our table to see the point that's going to give us 2.5 so this point approximately gives us roughly 2.5 so let's measure to see what that point gives us so this point gives us about 1.5 
inch so definitely what we are going to be marking from this pointed area of the fabric outward like so is going to be 1.5 inch and from that upper point of 1.5 inch i'm going to be marking the width of the peplum which is six inches and then i have it connected and then i have it cut out like so so this is what the ruffle or the peplum part of the dress looks like and then i slash it open so this is what one piece of it looks like so i'm going to be cutting um, another piece of this that is for the second side so if i measure that gives me a total of about 10.5 inches into two places which is enough to accommodate the length of you know the ruffles so i'm going to be cutting another of this and then cut another one that i'm going to be using for the interfacing so if you join it together that is if you join two of these together it's going to give you one ruffle for one side of the dress and at this point every single part of this crisscross dress is ready for stitching so i'll be seeing you in my next video where i'll be showing us how to stitch every single part of this dress together bye